Hey guys, it's Rich. Um, I know this label is such too much vlog, but I I have a project that I'm working on. However, I don't know how well it's going to turn out. The last one that I was doing with the camouflage uh, yarn didn't really turn out that well, so I actually am scrapping that one and reusing the yarn for something else. I was actually going to try to make a like a messenger bag that can hold stuff, like a bag of holding. I was trying to make one of those and it just didn't turn out the way that I wanted to do it, so yeah, it's going to get scrapped out and I might still make it, just make it smaller and tighter of a knit or something like that. Still trying to figure it out how I want to make it. But I did want to touch bases with you guys and let you know what's been going on for uh, about the last month or so since I've made a video. Okay, so if you follow me on Twitter, and at the end you will have a direct link to my Twitter feed. However, if you follow me on Twitter, you know some of the things that have been happening in my life. Not necessarily bad things, just some things that are kind of an annoyance. So, that's kind of kept me from making videos here and there. I got one video behind on the... Christo Pagan series, which I'm going to try to do a catch-up of all of those and be back on my actual schedule, but I am behind on my schedule, so I kind of need to get back on the ball on that. I've actually noticed that with the new moon, I actually have less energy, and that's usually whenever my back pain starts, which I wanted to talk about just briefly. I don't really want to complain about it because, you know, it's just a part of life, dealing with the aches and pains, but we did an exercise at work, and during the exercise, and I'm actually going to post a picture if I can remember and can find it, I'm going to post it right here, but we actually did an exercise that, you know, basically that's whenever we play war, and I was stuck in my gas mask and flak vest, helmet, all that stuff, all my chemical gear. For a little while, I mean, it lasted a. Uh, it lasted for like three days or something like that. This exercise did. So that was an annoyance, and they were like, you know, 12, 14 hour days or some, something like that. So, yeah, whenever I came home, all I wanted to do was sleep. So that kept me from doing videos. But also, at the same time, my back pain started to act up again, and it's something that happened um, right before I took my PT test in the beginning of April. And I've kind of noticed that whenever it gets to the new moon time, that's whenever my back starts to act up. I don't know if that has any correlation or if it's due to working on certain things or, you know, over-exhaustion or not keeping up with my Wellness Wednesdays uh, type of routine stuff that I'll be talking about in the future. I don't know if any of that has to do with it, but it probably does. Anywho, I had some back pain, and so all I wanted to do whenever I came home was to rest my back, lay down, you know, go to sleep. So I got a little behind on my Christo Pagan series. So I'm one video behind, and I'm going to kind of try to play catch up. So hopefully everything gets back on track and we get back into the regular groove of everything and I can actually get everything posted on a regular basis. At work I just switched from working a mid-shift schedule which is 11 to 7 to a swing shift schedule which is 3 to 11. So yeah, kind of getting into the groove of things with that. I was running the shift, and now I'm second in charge of running that shift. So it's kind of a, you know, knowing my position again type of situation. Going from being a shift lead to an assistant shift lead was kind of different. So that's been happening. Not much else with work-wise. I haven't talked about this on Twitter yet. However, I did take some pictures, and I will be posting the pictures on Twitter, but I recently had to redo my book of shadows, and I added a little accoutrements to it, but I had this this cord that I used for a different project that I'll be sharing in the future, 
but I had this cord sitting around and I have a lot of it, so I noticed that the edging that I had on the book itself, on the binding itself, was coming off. And I mean, it's not like this is a high, high dollar book or anything. This is just one of the journals that you can buy from Barnes & Noble. And it's, I believe, a faux leather. But I like the cover, so I wanted to keep it intact as much as possible for as long as possible. So I took that cord and I redid the cord around it. And at the end, I did a nice little weave of the excess cord that I had. And I put my little triquetra, which I absolutely love the triquetra, as most of you know if you've watched my videos in the past. But I also had my relics sitting around, and I, I'm looking at the relics, and I'm like, you know what? i got to have a way of incorporating these more into my practice that isn't just them sitting there. And if you're hearing noises outside, they still haven't turned my AC on in this dorm room. So I have to keep the window open to actually keep it a manageable uh, level of temperature in here. So I wanted to put two relics that I have on here. This one is St. Anthony of Padua, and this one is St. Anne, Anne de Beaupre, I believe is how it's... Anyway, I think that's how it's pronounced. And this is a really cool key, and it's a St. Christopher medal on it, but it's sterling silver, and I just really kind of fell in love with it but it's for protection, so I put that on the front as like a key and protection and just general like awesomeness. So with the St. Anthony of Padua, I kind of fell in love with the story of him losing his book of Psalms, I believe it was. I wrote about it before, and I think I shared about it on a Christo Pagan series video. On well, Actually, I think it was the first Christo Pagan series video. But I fell in love with St. Anthony of Padua's uh, story of him losing his book or it getting stolen from a member of his order and the member going away and coming back with the book because St. Anthony prayed for it to be returned. So falling in love with the story of his prized book reminds me of my Book of Shadows and how it is a prized possession that is like an extension of me as that book was definitely an extension of St. Anthony as it had his notes in it, <clears throat> his sermon notes. And St. Anne de Beaupre, I, I believe that's how it's said, um, I, I really like the healing aspect of it and the healing aspect of healing oneself, not only in the physical sense, which is mostly what St. Anne is known for, but I I love the aspect of healing on all levels, healing of the spiritual self, of your physical self, of uh, just getting into that healing aspect of being the best you that you can be. So I really like that and I wanted to put those on there. And I made it so that these are detachable in case I want to use them in any sort of ritual work except for this one. This one's not detachable, but I can cut the cord very easily and use it in a spell if I needed to or wanted to. And this I'm not going to have as removable. I'm not going to cut it because I like the triquetra. I had one sitting around and I want to use it. Put it to good use. So Instead of having this as a backup one for me to wear, I ended up putting on my Book of Shadows because it needs a little touch of me, which the Triquetra is definitely a symbol of me. So that's my remod of my Book of Shadows. I have started to journal on it just a little bit. I'm starting to get out of the it-has-to-be-perfect type of journaling when, with my Book of Shadows. And... I'm starting to get into the more authentic of, you know, this being a gospel of me, I guess. So I've really gotten into doing a little bit more of the journaling aspect whenever it comes to my Book of Shadows. Now, eventually, I will have the mighty tome, the grimoire of spells that I've tried and how they work and how well they work for me and different correspondences and stuff like that. The basic knowledge center. Not necessarily a book of shadows, but a grimoire of collected materials and collected thoughts and uh, the way I think of things. 
So I will eventually have the mighty tome, the grimoire of everything. But the Book of Shadows for me is getting to be more of the little notes here and there of what I think and hashing out the ideas, kind of like I do with the Crystal Pagan series, but on a deeper level for myself and specifically for me. So I've gotten kind of into the journaling thing just a little bit more than what I used to be. And I want to actually say what type of pen I'm using now because I kind of fell in love with this pen just a little bit. And I ordered some that were, I think they're the Pilot Varsity series, but this is a zebra one. It is a disposable fountain pen. They're like, I think, three bucks for one pen, but you get like two ink cartridges, and that's just awesome. So I figured I'd try it out, and this is a very fine point, but I ordered the Varsity, the Pilot Varsity series, I ordered them in the medium point because I kind of want to try those. The very fine point is just a little too fine for me. It's a little too pinpoint, which I do like. However, I want something just a little bit thicker. So hopefully with the Pilot series, the Pilot Varsity series, hopefully it's just a little bit thicker. So, and hopefully it doesn't bleed because that's a big issue for me is if it bleeds through to another page, I don't want it. The Zebra. Um, this is the V301 uh, fine point. This one doesn't bleed, or it hasn't bled yet. And I think if you probably put enough ink on there, it will bleed through the pages for this uh, Book of Shadows that I'm using. So I don't want to test it out to the point where it does bleed through, but I haven't had any bleed through really yet. So I'm kind of hoping that the same is true for the Pilot Varsity series, and I will give you guys an update whenever I get those in because it's something I'm very anxious about. But if you're like me, whenever you write into your Book of Shadows, for me it's not necessarily about having one sacred pen. I do have a fountain pen that I would like to use for the mighty tome, the mighty grimoire, whenever I finally get around to getting one that speaks to me. I would like to have one pen that I use for that, and it's a fountain pen that was a gift for me for going away from my first base. And I would like to use that one for my grimoire, but I don't have it with me. I don't have any ink cartridges for it right now, and uh, it's something I want to practice with a little bit more before going headfirst into using it in a grimoire that I've spent, you know, let's say $100, $200 on, if I really go for the for the gusto there. So it's really something that I want to work with a little bit more before diving headfirst and realizing it's not something I want to use. But like I said, if you're like me, you know how uh, anxious you can get when using a pen that does bleed through to the next page. It's kind of irritating whenever it happens. So I figured I'd mention that if any of you are out there and like to use a fountain pen but don't like the bleed through. So again that's the Zebra uh, V301 fine point. So yeah. And I'll give you guys an update whenever I get the other ones in. I just ordered them yesterday so they should be in in about a week or so. The Amazon usually takes a week to get out to Korea. I'm considering starting a, yet another series. Now this one's going to kind of be like the Stitch and Witch vlogs where it's not necessarily on a timed basis where it's coming out on a schedule or anything like that. But I kind of want to do this series because because all of my other videos are me careful of my wording as far as not being too confrontational. Now, I can get confrontational here and there, and I try to do so very sparingly, because I know it gets annoying hearing somebody, you know, rant and rave about something that, you know, that they disagree about. I know it's it gets annoying sometimes. So, so I don't want to do that on The Stitch and Witch, because, you know, it's just sharing about my life and about stitching whenever I have something to stitch, or... 
talking about things that are just happening in day-to-day -day life, but this series is going to be called The Whiny Witch, and I wanted to get you guys' opinion on it. And it's basically, all it's going to be is me sitting down with a glass of wine and just having a ranting time. A time where I blow off steam, where I drink a little bit of wine, get a little loose-lipped, uh, talk about things that just generally tick me off. It's not going to be a series that is for the younger viewing audience or anybody that really is offended by swearing because I'm not going to watch my level of swearing as I do on here because I know it offends some people. So I don't want to put it in my usual videos. But those ones are going to be a little bit more raunchy whenever it comes to what I say a little bit more blunt in the way that I say it, and just me generally just blowing off steam. And some of it might get posted, and some of it might not make it off the cutting room floor, so to speak, so, yeah. Let me know what you guys think about that, because it's, it's kind of th something that I've been going back and forth about, because there are things that I see online or that I hear discuss that really tick me off, and then there are some things that, you know, it really doesn't matter. But the things that really tick me off, you know, I could probably make a full video on it just ranting about it and getting my thoughts out there instead of posting them all over Facebook where, you know, it really doesn't matter anyway. But putting it out to you guys to see what your honest opinions are you know, am I actually right in the way that I'm viewing it, or am I stupid for the way I'm viewing it? And I expect you guys to be honest with me on that stuff, uh, letting me know how you actually feel about those topics as well. Again, if you hear people outside screaming and shouting, you know, it's, it's like quarter till two in the morning, and they are being that loud. Even with the window closed, it's usually that loud, so... Anyway, now I also wanted to talk about a stitching project that I did because I said I was going to talk about it and I haven't yet. And if ever I tell you guys that I'm going to make a video on something and I haven't, or I, you know, say it's coming up in the future and it hasn't come up yet, please touch base with me if you're interested and say, hey, uh, you said you were going to do this video, are you still planning on doing that? And I'll get back to you. But anyway, I said I was going to share this, and I didn't yet. And I think I might put this online. And this, if you've gone to Ren Fairs, you've probably seen something like this. But it is to hold your wine, so you can carry your wine. And I kind of like this. I think I might want to keep this for myself, I, but... In all actuality, I have somebody I'm going to gift this to. And I think they might know who they are. And if they are watching, I'm going to need them to send me their address so I can send it to them. But Derry, this is for you. I know how you love rainbows, and she kind of like oohed and awed whenever I was going to make a shawl that was a rainbow. She absolutely loved the rainbow pattern, so I know you like to kick back with a glass of wine, or you can put your items inside instead of wine. You can put anything inside there. I mean, it's actually a tight crochet, so you can put a lot in there, too. And it's made for a big bottle, so you can, you can do some good drinking. Anywho. So, Derry, whenever you see this, send me your mailing address through Facebook, and I will send it out to you. The only thing that I ask for Derry is that she tells me if I did a good job or if it completely sucks, and I hope she'll be honest with me, or what I can do to improve it. So, I hope she'll be honest with me, I think she will, because Derry is pretty darn honest whenever it comes to certain things. 
Before I go, I almost forgot that I am now going to be getting paid my substance allowance, which which means they closed down the chow hall that's like right across from my dorm, which means that I'm able to go out and buy groceries with some extra money that the military is giving me to offset my my pay. They give a small substance allowance <clears throat> so we can go out and buy food. So I have a little extra money to be able to do some cooking tutorials with. And I'm able to share a little bit about some dietary habits that I'm going to start for myself that I haven't been able to do because, let's face it, the chow hall isn't exactly healthy food. So, but whenever I make food, it's kind of, sort of, ish, health, healthy-ish. Anyhow, so, with that, uh, I want to share that. If you have not subscribed to me, go ahead and make sure that you subscribe. There are going to be some things that are going to be given away here soon. So, in order to be in the drawing for that, you must be subscribed. If you have not been to crystalpaganism.com lately, go ahead and check that out. Uh, and if you're not stalking me on Twitter, go ahead and go there. I've been finding some great blog posts, um, some great things that have been shared, some inspirational quotes that I that have been shared to me and that I've been passing on the inspiration to. So, some great things coming out of Twitter on that front. So, if you are not following me on Twitter, go ahead and go there. Uh, even if you don't make an account, but you just go there and you just, you know, stalk me on there. Yeah, some of the things that I've been posting on there are kind of fun blog posts and stuff like that. So, go ahead and go to Twitter if that is something that you would like to see. And also, it has some of my daily life, so it's a little bit more of a stalking atmosphere there. Anywho, with all that being said, may you have love, hugs, and ladybugs. Bye-bye.